Has anyone been practicing at home with family members? I have, but my head to toe like is a little different because like we learned it at NAU first. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that are only in the specific assessments were included in our like regular head to toe. Mm -hmm. So I have I'm like trying to deprogram my brain and do it the way they want to do it instead of the way that you learn. I intuitively am doing it. Yeah. So if I screw it up, just let me know. And then she's recording right there too. So if you want to. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. Mm. So, hi, my name's Casey. I'm going to be your nurse for today. Can you confirm your name and date of birth? Alexis Kaiji, February 20th, 1996. Okay. Provide privacy. Uh, we did the two identifiers, so I do patient to, or to band if we were in a hospital. Otherwise, it would just be patient to verbal confirmation. Um, so, I'm going to start with a head to toe. So first off, hair is clean and dry, um, eyes are equal bilaterally, there's symmetry across the face. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and touch your scalp here. I can see that her hair is clean. If you don't want to do this, don't do this. <laughs> um, for, so we did, we did head and scalp, we did the nose, we did symmetry. I would do Perla, I don't have a, I don't have a light, so if you could look at me, kind of watch my nose, back and forth. And forth. So pupils are equal, round, and reactive bilaterally. Um, can you follow my finger? Okay, accommodation is good. Um, if you had a clock behind you, you could go do a clock. There's no lumps, bumps, anything like that, anything out of the ordinary. Um, the skin is warm and dry. We would have done like blood pressure, vitals, things like that um, in the beginning. So that's when you'd say skin is warm and dry. Um, do, 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 do. I don't think there's anything else other than that for the skin. Okay, so range of motion, we're gonna do upper extremities first. So I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna take this from you. I'm gonna have you put your hands right in front of me. Flip your hands over. Flex your hands. Spread your fingers. Bring your fingers together. Touch your shoulders. Fantastic. So no restrictions in the upper range of motion. Um, I see your hand really quick. It's really hard to do a nail polish, but theoretically her cap feels good. <laughs> okay, um, so then we're going to move down to neck. So, do we do a thyroid check for this one? Just for the general? Just for the general, we don't check thyroid? Okay, so then I would look and make sure that there's no distension in the jugular. Obviously, if there was, you'd see a pulsation there, so there's nothing there. Um, cap refill... So we're going to move into cardio. I'm going to bring this down. So first we're going to look at herbs point, which is going to be, you're going to like poke your boob here, right here. <laughs> All right, this may feel kind of cold. It's the third intercostal space left side of the sternal border. Mm -hmm. Okay, so herbs would check for murmurs. I don't think we do the full cardiology assessment for this one. So, um, otherwise we would do tricuspid, mitral, atrial. So to do no shortness of breath. Do you have any chest pain? No. No? Okay. Um, so we would then do pedal pulses first, but I'm not going to make you take off your shoes. Radial pulses would have been done initially, so we don't need to do a radial pulse again. Um, any shortness of breath or wheezing? No? Okay. So then we're going to do respiratory assessment. So it's going to be six on the front, six on the back. So I'm going to have you go ahead and breathe in. Breathe in again. Breathe in again. Then again. Then again. And then you would do the other side. And then forward, same thing on the back, two in between the shoulder blades, two in the middle of the back, two on the lower. And you take a deep breath with each one. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So you're basically making this like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So like like a domino. Yes, it's going out a little bit each time. Like the dots on a domino. It's like if you put the top, if you put the top of the spine as a, as a like a point, it makes a Christmas tree going down. Does that make sense? No. Okay. Because I'm thinking point. There would only be one at the top. No, that's what I mean. Like so, if you if you use this as like a focal point, oh, I see. it makes a Christmas tree. So you're going, going down farther, down. farther, farther. Yes. So two, two, and then two. two. Okay, that helps. Two. Two, two, two. two. Sorry. Yes. Okay, that helps me to say Christmas tree. Okay. Sorry. That helps. No, that helps. <laughs> okay. Now I'm all sorts of screwed up. Where are we? <laughs> Long zip, 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 front and back. Oh, okay. We're good. So we're in abdominal. So for the abdominal non-focused assessment, all we're doing is. So if do you have any cramps or discomfort in your abdomen? No. Any changes in urination? No. Any color discharge? Anything like that? Nope, fantastic. Um, so we'll auscultate all four quadrants starting in the left lower. Right. Right lower. Right lower. Right lower. Right lower. Right lower. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, is that lower? That's left, left lower. Side. Other side. I started left lower. Yeah, right. I was like, that's my right. Is that lower? Oh, will you go lower? You start lower. Yeah, it's hard to tell because she's not laying down. Go a little down. lower. Yeah, go yeah. a little lower. It's, it's really lower. hard to tell where the heck she is. No, you're right. <laughs> Here you go. I think as long as you know the <laughs> yeah. Okay. General. Well, as long as you verbalize. And then when you go up, it's right under the red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was way high on that one. And then theoretically, vowel sounds would be active in all quadrants, or vowel sounds would be hypo or hyper. Right now, they're probably hypo. So it's like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I just have to remember to start on the right. Yeah. And then for the lower extremities, we would inspect for edema. So for that one, lift up the chin, push two fingers, and the refill is minimal. So she's got none. Um, did you, do, you technically do one to four plus, so you can say she had one, but I would just say no lower extremity edema. Um, see if there's any issues with mobility, any gait instability, anything like that. And other than that, I think that's... It, is that where you have to do this too? Isn't that on the bottom part of that paper? Oh, so is, I don't page. think assessment. Or is that the next page? For the mobility assessment, do we do like do we do like the range of motion mobility, or do we just do like can they walk? Because the range of motion stuff is in the focused assessment for musculoskeletal, but it just says mobility. Oh, okay, I just didn't remember one. what was what was on there. Does anybody know? So I would only do, do it if you get focused. Yeah. So just do the range of motion. Otherwise, just assess gait, and yeah. that'd be it. Well, then that would be it for this one. That would be it for your head to toe. Guys, for for in real life, did do you think nurses have a cheat sheet? You think they have a little thing to go to go? No, you like, probably, probably have it memorized, memorized so already, much. honestly. You just do it but really quickly. Like I was, I was watching one of my listen. girlfriends at Barrows, and it. I mean, she goes through her head to toe in probably less than four minutes. Yeah, if you well, listen to YouTube, there is a YouTube on a girl just talking about doing her head to toe assessment, and there's a video that goes with it too. But um, I don't want to listen to it. But she literally, she just talks about, well, I'm looking here, I'm doing this, I'm listening here, and it's like four minutes. Really quick. Yeah. What I'm just saying is there some kind of like resource that if you're like, oh, what do I do next? I would you know, Google so. five minute head to toe. Right. And there's there's a sheet that'll come up. We used it for NAU for the five minute stuff and it's 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 very, very similar to this one, except you're not you're looking more you're like you're taking the chief complaint and doing a head to toe based around that chief complaint instead of looking at everything every time. I mean they do a really quick scope of everything, but they're not like if they look at your legs, they're not going to go press into your legs and make sure you have a, don't have a edema every day. They're going to look at your legs and go, no, they're still not swollen. Like, or if you have if you have edema, they're going to reassess them daily to see where you're going with that. But it's not. I feel like we we pause because we don't know it, and that's what takes longer. Yeah. But if you were to just take what I just did and actually know what you were doing and do it with confidence, it'd probably take me about four minutes. So I would probably go off of this sheet and the five minute head to toe because they gave us that sheet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We all cool? Yeah. That's good. I don't feel any better. Yeah, I just, I have to do it over and over. And that's what I think we should probably do. Are you going to do that? Do you want me to focus? Yeah. Okay. You guys would put this on me. <laughs> well, you guys have looked at these in like two weeks. I don't think any of us. Yeah, but all of us. That's cool. Well, at least I don't think it's not that bad. Okay. I'm going to love all of them.
we'll all struggle through it together. So you're doing the neuro next. I thought I was doing, oh, I'm looking at the wrong sheet. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter, I was just asking. Yeah, I can do neuro next. Does anybody have the gloss calcoma scale rating on them? It's, yeah. I have it, do you want it? I grab mine. The total is 15, but... Yeah. The total is 15? Okay, I just it's don't remember date, the... time, place, um... Date, time, place, event. 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 That was for the... That's included on the... I just don't remember that one, to be honest. Because I know person, place, time, and, like, purpose, theoretically, is the four. Awareness of self. So, it's eye-opening response, one to four. Okay. Verbal response, one to five. Motor response, 1 to 6. Total score, 15. For best. Okay. So, verbal. Hold on. Yeah. Opening response, 1 to 4. Best. So, if you have a glaucoma, or a Glasgow coma <laughs> scale is 15, you're orientated to time, place, person, good motor response, and eyes are responsive. Okay. So, as long as they're talking and functioning normally, they get a 15. Yeah. Okay. this for the cranial nerves because I do not know about that, I'll be totally honest. Okay. Okay. So for the for the neuro focused exam, we're gonna do, you know, do you know where you are? Do you know what your name is? Um, do you know what date it is? And do you know who the president is? It's do you, remember what I just, <laughs> do you remember what I just asked? My name's Alexis. Good me. I'm at Gateway Community College. Today is September 28th, 2018, and Donald Trump is the president. Cool. Awesome. Um, so the eyes, so she's blinking normally, she's speaking normally, um, she's moving her arms around, she's very Italian. So <laughs> the Glasgow Coma Scale would be 15 for a maximal score. So then we'd go into the cranial nerves. So for olfactory, we would do the alcohol swab, and then you close your eyes, take a little pack of alcohol, rub it alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's your olfactory. For optic, we would do Perla. So we've already done that one previously in the regular head to toe, so you wouldn't have to do that one again. For um, oculomotor and trochlear, we would do the cardinal fields. So it's going to be, it spells oat. So it's oculomotor if it's going up here. It's um, abducens if it's going side to side. And it's trochlear if it's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So follow my finger. So oculomotor, trochlear, abducens, abducens, trochlear, oculomotor, oat. Um, did you do so for trigeminal? Can you go like this? Can you touch tiny with your mouth? Awesome. So, and then we would do sensation of sharp or dull, so you could do that with really anything, like a pen. Do I have a pen to poke you with? I don't have a pen to poke pencil. you with. I want to poke you with a pencil. Right okay. So, close your eyes. Dull. Dull. Fail. Sharp. All right. Well, oh, yeah, it has to be half lead in it. <laughs> well, it's not. I didn't. <laughs> And what were you just testing? <laughs> I was testing the trigeminal. Wait, that's okay. number four. That's five. That's five. Um, five. Five is trigeminal. Five and seven are the ones you can put together, right? Um, no. You're thinking of three, four, and six. Right? Three, four, and six go together. Those are all tested in your six cardinal fields. Seven is the facial, and that can go. Five and seven can go together. You can do like the cotton. If you do smile. You, well, it's if you do the clenched teeth with um, your eyes closed or like when you're speaking because the this is seven okay so the if you do the teeth and you're just like and then you go like shut your eyes that'll check five and seven at the same time okay. which a lot of people pair those together um and then yes you can ask them to smile and that's the other okay so acoustic i'm not gonna do the whisper in your ear thing because frankly that would creep me out <laughs> but so just close your eyes tell me right or left um, right. <laughs> right. Left. Left. There you go. Okay, okay so she's 
you can hear the right or left. Um, we can also do the tuning fork here, but I don't know if they're going to provide the tuning fork, so just do the little snappy thing. Or you can be creepy and whisper in their ear. Um, we already did the glossopharyngeal when we asked them to, when I asked her to say ah and touch her tongue to the top. So she's already done nine. Um, Vegas, she could do like a swallow test, so just if she can actually swallow, um, or you can have them like drinking a sip of water. So that would be number 10. Um, number 11 is gonna be your spinal accessory. So I'm gonna have you take your shoulders, shrug. Okay, put shoulders down, shrug again. There you go. So you want both the regular to see if they can do it up themselves and then to see if they can do it with resistance for spinal accessory. Um, we already checked the hypoglossal when we had her move her tongue earlier. So that one paired with 5, 7, and 12 all paired together on that one. And then uh, we're going to do... Isn't it 8, 8, no, sorry, 9, 10, and 12, you pair together, you say ah and swallow, and that covers all three. Oh, I had her do, when I had her clench her teeth, I did the tongue at the same okay. time. But that's why. Okay, okay. You could do it either way. They're, for the stuff that has to do with smiling in the mouth, do it in whatever combination best suits you. Just make sure you state the nerves as you go through. Um, and then we're going to do Romberg. So I'm going to have you stand up. And then close your eyes. And she's going to stand there for 20 seconds and not fall over. <laughs> so you can do hands by your sides or you can do arms out in front of you. It can go either way. All right, so 20 seconds is up. Congratulations, yes. you didn't fall. Um, so we can do, for the next one, for coordination, we can do heel to toe walking. Um, we can do the heel to shin or the nose to, the finger to nose. So I'm gonna have you do finger to nose. So come out here and touch your nose. <laughs> Take it away. Fantastic. Um, and then I do the heel to toe just because you're already standing. So heel to toe, take six steps. And just for people, who are watching this video know. <laughs> you have to pick one upper and one lower coordination one and one upper and one lower sensory. So she just did an upper and a lower coordination. Yes. I totally forgot about that. I just knew that I was supposed to do those two. <laughs> okay. And then for sensory, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to write something on your hand. So I'm going to have you close your eyes and I'm going to write a letter. Hey. Yes. <laughs> well, she went. Who knows I, was, like, I wasn't that funky. All right. So she got the letter right on the second try. We're going to count it. Um, and then we already did the dull to sharp when I did the check earlier. So that would have paired. Which one was it included in the check earlier? That's like, what I'm, that's I'm going to look right now. It is do, 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 with the trigeminal. Which is number? With number five. Okay. So we combined number five and the sensory with the salt and sharp and dull stimulus. That is it. Yay. <laughs> Except for you have like five more to do. Except for I have like five more to do. But that's <laughs> it for neuro. I hate you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, I get to be the guinea pig. <laughs> okay, so for. Oh, cardio is easy though. Because we just do aortic, pulmonic, herbs, tricuspid, tricuspid, mitral, and then. What else? There's something so else. Can you, can you show apical, us where each of them yeah. are? Just for my sake. 60 seconds, apical pulse. Oh, and then S1 is two. Stop. Okay. Um, I think I Wait, Casey, thing. can you point to them one more time with the paper down? Just so we know which one's which. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're looking at aortic, colonic, herbs, tricuspid, mitral. Okay. Um, do there's something else we're missing though? Oh, the dorsalis pedis and all the different pulses. So, so we have to do. Do we have to do all five? Do we have to mention them? Oh, we just have to mention them. We don't have to actually do them. Okay, so we've got temporal, carotid, carotid. I'm sure she's gonna ask because we can't do those at the same time. Yeah. So carotid, you just have to do one side. Radial, apical. Unless we already did the apical from head to toe, which most of us are gonna do the apical. And we're not actually counting the pulses, right? We're just filling for a pulse or what? And for symmetry. Yeah, no. you know where it is. Okay. Yeah. And then femoral, popliteal, dorsalis, pedis, and post-tibial. Brachial. Do it. She doesn't have brachial on here. Oh, she does have brachial on here. I've lied. Yeah, I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, does anybody know where the spot is for the post-tibial? Because I don't normally do the post-tibial. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the is it? The yeah. It's like that soft spot oh, right, right inside of the ankle. Behind. Behind. Right here? No, inside of the leg. Inside. On the inside. Look, I'll show you. 
Because you're supposed to, when you're doing the push pushing, push 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 get down, uh -huh. you go down like this, uh -huh. you do the, whatever the store sound is, and then you go around right here. Oh, okay, okay. Got you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, we're going to try this until that I don't totally screw it up. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so we'll do the karate, or we'll do the... The cardiovascular focus assessment. So first, I'm going to start by listening to your heart. I think she has us flipped for herbs because herbs is technically a listening for murmurs and murmurs are low sounding. So I think we use the bell side for murmurs, not the diaphragm side. Can you say which um, intercostal space it is? Just for the video. I know that. I don't know which intercostal space it is. So aortic is left. Or second. Second. Herbs is third. Herbs is third. Tricuspid is fourth. Baby pole is between the fifth and the sixth. But yeah, you have to say left mid, of the sternal border also. Yeah, mid clavicular. Why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you do it then. We're learning from helping you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so wait, wait, wait. All right. So we're doing, so we got second, 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 second. flip, third, mm -hmm. and then we come down for tricuspid, or I'm sorry, tricuspid. Nope, other side. It's a little higher up. Right. It's a little higher up. It's basically where right the here. is. Four. Yeah. So four. And, the, and then would be like underneath. Five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So two, two, three, four, five. Okay. I would have never remembered that. Mm -hmm. You just have to remember if it's left or right. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what threw me for a second. Mm -hmm. So. But there's only one to the right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just this guy. <laughs> right. It's just your. Okay. So. Aortic and pulmonic. Herbs is in three, tricuspid is in four, mitral is in five, mm -hmm. midclavicular. 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 <laughs> midclavicular. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So we've got aortic, pulmonic are both in two, herbs is in three, and then tricuspid. Just right under your boob, and I can't hear it anyway. And then um, mitral. Okay. So four, five. Okay. And if you can't hear it, I think she said that's fine. It's just you she knowing the spot you're in. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, because I can't hear her tricuspid through her clothes. I can hear her mitral because it's bounding, but mm -hmm. like I can't hear her tricuspid at all. <laughs> that's, <laughs> strong. that's what it is. Okay. So, um, so then we would do. Uh, pulses so we do temporal so temporal um car is carotid the next one yeah mm -hmm. just work your way down yeah so temporal carotid other carotid in theory um brachial brachial radial um what else am i missing are we supposed to be filling There's, these at the same time on both sides? Yes. Besides the carotid? Yes. yes. Okay. So we go down We go down bilaterally, so it would be brachial, radial, so that way you have mm -hmm. a good idea of which pulse is on each side. Um, femoral, but I think you just... Yeah, we, don't, we just have to yeah. mention. Okay, femoral. femoral, and then popliteal, and then dorsalis pedis, and post-tibial. Post-tibial. Post now, is the popliteal, is that... Behind, behind, the, behind the outer, the or is it, or behind, behind the knee, so behind the knee. Inside. on the back of it the inside, on the inside, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. yeah. I come around this way because I have no feeling in this hand, so she can't see where I put my fingers on this side, but I can actually feel it on this side. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just me. Um, and I think to do, so we had the symmetry of pulses. The symmetry of pulses you would have done as you did your assessment. We already checked edema when we did our head to toe. The temperature of the extremities we checked when we did our head to toe but you can check the legs um, 
I mean, if you so chose, but you really would have checked the legs when you checked for edema on the full head to toe. And then we already did cap refill, which obviously we can't see because she's got nail polish, but regular cap refill. And then as part of the focus cardio, you would assess for like clubbing or disformity or anything of the nails. Um, and other than that, that's the full cardio. Whoa. That's Boom. Yeah. No, this first uh, take blood pressure in both arms. Huh? That's not on here. I call bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's just I think you only have to the lab manual, the lab manual. that we don't Isn't use. Take blood pressure in both arms. Yeah, it's the 60. Not that, that we have to, I'm just letting you know. Well, and that's what I was trying to figure out, because like, it's not the 60 on here, but it's the 60 on the regular, so I'm wondering if we have to do it. From if it's no. not on this list that you're going off of, I wouldn't do it just because I feel like they're going to be grading off of this yeah. list. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. But April's always here. It does. The April's always here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you're, aren't you are yeah. we doing that in the head to toe though? Yeah. We do it in the, uh, we, no, we do the April so in the regular, not in the cardio focus. Oh, yeah, that's what keeps drawing. Because in the, you do it in the regular. Yeah. On my phone, yeah. Uh, is that what you did? No, that makes sense. It's just On parts of it, I didn't do it until right now. Because I was trying to see if they had like good information. Oh, yeah. Because I'll have that nice lady. Which I'll pro probably use this video. Anyways. I don't know how I got paid for this. I always draw the short straw, man. <laughs> hey, you'll be most prepared. <laughs> no, I won't. That one goes to it, too. That's the GI. Oh. And you. Kylie. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Happens all the time. Okay. Okay. All the letters are kind of like. Okay. So, shoulder should be. This one. Okay. Thoracic expansion. So, what is the 99 thing? Oh, that's what that girl was showing you. The vibration. Put your hands. Do you want to go show it? I don't know if it's the front and the back. It's this front and back. And I know where to put it on the back, but like for a female, I'm really not sure where to put it on the front. Just kind of like over. And it will, will you still feel the full vibration? I don't know. 99. Yeah, you feel the vibration. 99. You go, say 99. 99. 99. Okay, so. And you can feel it. 99. 99. You have to check the hand place, but I'm pretty sure about that. And you're feeling that the vibration is bilateral. You are? Okay. Yeah, thing. It's still red. Not as red. You like black. But you like red. Not as red. This morning. <laughs> the, for the auscultation, I don't know that I know the bronchial versus vesicular okay. well enough to go through. <laughs> do you want to so, do this one? Yeah, do I don't you know, know the whole thing. thing. I just know the, the sound. Dude, I have a list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no pressure. You can mess. The bronchial. Do you want to show us where like, all and the sides are? Well, because this is bronchial. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the go up. Yeah, so, so bronchial vestibular, because vestibular is peripheral. Yeah. So you're around the bronchial. So bronchial so, vestibular. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And it's the same on the front and the back. Okay. So isn't there bronchial vesicular? Like the certain parts of those that are both? There's bronchial vesicular, yes. Yeah. And then vesicular. And that's and where they vesicular. mix. But that's so, just right here? Or I thought that was down here. Vesicular. I know, but there's some that are like vesicular. BV, like. Bronchial, I have a picture. Uh, Do you really? Yeah. And then there's <laughs> the, the picture would be nice. Been a while. Because I remember she put up that thing on the board that had all the little B's and V's and they were all red and blue. And I don't have the bronchial is just located yeah, right here. Yeah, the bronchial. Yeah. Yeah. And then so so it's so bronchial, right, bronchial, bronchial, vesicular, and then vesicular. So bronchial is just uh, right here. Okay. Yeah. Bronchial, 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 bronchial,
they'll, they'll use their accessory muscles. Um, you'll assess the thorax for symmetry. I'm going to say she looks relatively symmetrical. Um, but we're going to find out, guys. Um, so we're going to do the, um, and the blah, blah, blah. anterior, posti posterior, transverse diameter needs to have a two to one ratio. So that means this should be approximately half, half of the size of this. So one, two, which I'm going to say it looks approximately like a two, it looks like a two to one ratio. And I think we just have to say that it's a two to one ratio. Mm -hmm. Um, so then I'm going to have you lean forward. I'm going to palpate the thoracic expansion, which would be a V. This is really odd to do in this chair. Can yeah, you like scoot forward just a little bit? I'll stand up. Oh, okay. That works too. Here. That works awesome. So we're going to come down here, take a deep breath. And hands are going to come back together. They're, so the expansion is equal bilaterally. Uh, and then we're at the same time going to do the tactile for, for, for minutes. I, I butcher this every time. The 99. So we're going to feel for the vibrations. 99. 99. Do that again. 99. Okay, so go up higher. Like stay in between the shoulder blades. I'm not scared. You're alive. We're not worried about that. Okay. 99. 99. Okay. 99. I can kind of feel it down here, but because of the breast, I can't really feel it. For a male, you'd probably be able to feel it better. But I'm not going to totally grab her boobs to be able to do that. Um, to do... And then we'll auscultate, so I'm going to have you sit back down. So I'm going to do the front first, and then it would be those same spots that we talked about before on the back with the make the, make the Christmas tree. So I'm eating my hair here. Deep breath. And every time I touch, you're going to take a deep breath. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is where they want okay. us to vocalize. And then you'll yeah. do the same one. Yeah. Say that you're listening to the same yeah. sounds on both sides. Oh, okay. So I'm listening for the same sounds on the same sides, and then it would be so bronchial, mm -hmm. and then bronchial vesicular, and then bronchial vesicular, and then vesicular right. on the side. I guess I'm all confused. Yeah. And then you do that again, that vesicular. Behavior. <laughs> <laughs> the I think it'd be like that picture. Um, do we want to show them on the back? Do we yeah. want to like flip oh, yeah. around and just show? Them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we're next. We're next. Yeah. Oh, some of biscuit. <laughs> okay. So then we would go. So then would it still be like bronchial? Vesicular? So it's just no, bronchial, bronchial vesicular. Bronchial vesicular. Are closer to the spine, and then when you go out, they're vesicular. So bronchial vesicular. Bronchial vesicular. Vesicular. So you're over the bronchus or you're peripheral? Okay, so the bronchus. So bronchial vesicular is over the bronchus. Okay. And then vesicular is peripheral. Peripheral. Around it. Okay, we're next, but we're recording a practice for ourselves. All right, we're coming. Two seconds. So bronchial vesicular. Still bronchiovesicular or yeah, vesicular? It's just like the bronchiovesicular is just kind of like down, down the spine. The middle. Too, okay, so like this too is one too far. far. Yeah. Right, that's that's the the okay, so this is bronchiovesicular, vesicular, yes. vesicular. Yeah. Okay, so there's only one bronchiovesicular on the back, and well, then we have vesicular. Like, yeah, you can do like, like, like one each side, like two, two. two. Well, yeah, no, that's what I mean. There's only one group on the back that's bronchiovesicular, right. and then everything else is vesicular. Your bronchial is right here, and then it's everything's out. Okay. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. um, so then we would do, that's it, yeah. that's it for that, but that's it for that assessment. Yeah.